this is one important message I wanted to tell you. If your heart is not there in what you're doing, you will never do it well. And if you if you if you if you are passionate about something, you will always do well. But I think it is very important when you're studying also that you give your best. And uh, see, I think my grandfather used to tell me that don't worry about results. Uh, I think the important thing is that you give your best. I think all that you need to ask yourself is that did I try my best? If you have done your best, then I think result, whatever it may be, you may have done well, you may not have done well. Try again if you have not done well. Correct. Okay. So that is the benchmark you should set for yourself. That did you give your hundred percent to that? That's also very important. That you need to pursue something, and you have to be clear that this is what I want to do, and then keep on pursuing it. Then you will become successful. You need 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 not be a rank holder to, to succeed in life. It's always good to be a rank holder. It gives you a advantage uh, in many ways. But I think unless you develop these other traits or qualities, success is not guaranteed. The other thing which I found useful, which I like to share with you, is you need to also develop a attitude of never say die. Okay. See, in your life, you're going to have number of times you'll be successful. Sometimes you will fail. Sometimes things will not go your way. Now, I think the difference between a successful person and a not so successful person is that successful people have never say die attitude. In life, there are periods. There are certain periods where things go your way. And there are certain times when things, whatever you do, things go wrong. Correct. Now, if you have this never say die attitude, then you will go through that period when nothing is going your way. Now, don't become disheartened. Something may have happened. Your family circumstances may be such that during that one day when you are giving an exam, you have gone through a very bad uh, health problem and you can't do very well in the exam. Don't get disheartened. Right? I think you need to pursue and, 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 and make sure that you keep on giving, trying things and develop this attitude of never say die kind of an attitude. And the last thing I wanted to tell you is that uh, don't uh, chase money and don't chase success. These are not the things to chase. I think they should automatically come to you. Do whatever you do with passion, with commitment, with perseverance, with hard work, correct? And a never say die attitude and things will fall in place. Don't chase money or don't chase success. It should be a outcome of what you're doing. It cannot be an objective for you. People who chase success never get success. People who chase dreams that I want to make a difference to the society. I want to build one of the largest textile conglomerates which will give employment to hundreds of people or thousands of people and give phenomenal clothing to the world. If you have these kind of objectives, correct? You will be more passionate about it. If you say, I want to build a company which is $1 billion earning so much money and which will build so much wealth for myself. That's not the objective. That cannot be a dream. The dream has to be how you will be useful to the society. Your dream always has to be of a bigger nature. Correct? See, whenever people are, you know, for, for our country, people give their lives. Now, how many of us will give our life for, for a small cause? None of us will give. It's the most precious thing for all of us. But for our honor of our country, and see, it's bigger than you. It's a bigger thing, bigger picture. So always chase a bigger picture. Don't chase a thing that I want to be monetarily safe. I want to earn a lot of money. I want to enjoy myself. I want to have so much, so many material objects. That will never give you happiness. Finally, all of us are chasing happiness in life. You know, you're not chasing money or anything. All these things are finally to make you happy. See, if you say, why do I want this? Why do I want this? Finally, the answer would be that a human being wants to be happy. And happiness cannot be achieved by, by material. Uh, it is a necessity. Material, I'm not, I'm not saying don't become rich. 
I am not saying that don't chase success or don't become successful. Don't chase success, become successful. Correct. These are not not these are good things. Finally, you know these are hygiene qualities that if you have money, uh, you know you can make your family comfortable. Whenever there are there are requirements of funds, you have enough funds to give good education to your children. Correct. Look after their health care and you know also. Entertain yourself. So money is a necessity. It is not a dream. It is not something which you chase. You chase a bigger dream where you have to see as to how you are going to make a difference to the society. Are you going to be successful at my age? I have to only now ask: Is that did I live my life in a way that I have been able to make a difference? Uh, am I happy that I have changed the lives of others? have i contributed with my abilities in betterment of others not me okay if you can answer all these questions in affirmative then you will be happy then you will be satisfied that i have lived my life in a way that i have used god given gifts to help the society at large so these are the some of the messages i thought that when we are meeting in person whenever i see young uh, minds then i want to share some of the things which i have learned over the years and these are some of the lessons which i have learned so i think they could be useful to all of you thank you